Hi, my name is Andrea from Parrot Business Solutions. In this tutorial, I show you how to do real-time mapping with Parrot Bluegrass fields. In order to prepare your Parrot Bluegrass fields, open the bag and take out the bot. Place it in front of you. If the battery is not inserted yet, just take out the battery and place it inside. Close the lid, but don't connect it. In the next step, attach the propellers. You will need two black ones and two with a white dot. The black ones go on the mounts with the arrow counterclockwise. And the white ones go on the opposite. Now bring the drone into an open and obstacle-free space of around 10 meter radius. Connect the battery. Turn on the drone. Wait for the drone to start up. Control that your sunshine sensor has a green light and that the SD card is inserted. Now prepare your sky controller and connect it to your device. Prepare your device and the USB cable. Mount the device adapter on your sky controller too. Adjust the size to fit your device. And connect the USB cable. Turn on your Sky Controller 2 by pushing the light button. Now launch the Powered Fields application. Go into your pre planned project. Click on the drone icon on the right top. Now, under Flight Planning, reuse the field boundary. Choose the field that you want to map. Adjust the flight lines. Select your flight height, now 100 meters, overlap 60%. Under settings, make sure to have real-time mapping selected. Say apply. Click on check to run through the checklist. If you have a problem on the checklist, just click on the item to resolve it. Click on take off and up on clicking start your parrot bluegrass field will take off. Parrot bluegrass fields will climb to the mission altitude and then do the transition to the first waypoint. Now from the first waypoint, it will start to take images with this multispectral camera Sequoia. The images are automatically sent to your application powered fields and the map is built real time. During the flight, monitor the AR space. You can take over anytime using your sky controller too. Now that the drone has finished its mission, it will come back to the home waypoint and land. After the landing, the data is automatically synchronized with your device. You can fly again or click on continue to do your analysis. Here, for example, you can use the trim tool in order to trim your NDVI map to the field boundary. From here, you can go ahead and do your analysis. And that's it for real-time mapping. It will be continued by the tutorial about aerial scouting.